Hello everyone, welcome back, here is Van Amsen uh, and in today's video we are going to tackle a really interesting challenge finding the peak index in a mountain array using binary tree. So uh, now without uh, any further ado, let's get started. Before we dive into the code, let's try to understand the problem uh, a little uh, bit. So problem peak index in a mountain array and we are given an array that is guaranteed to be a mountain array. So a mountain array is an array that first increase until a reach a peak and then decrease. Our task is to find the peak of this mountain in a time complexity of O log n, where n is the length of the array. So we need to uh, make it faster than just uh, linearly uh, finding the peak. So how we do this? Uh, the key here is to use binary search. Uh, you might be thinking binary search uh, isn't that for sorted array? Yes, you are correct. But here is the catch. Each half of the mountain array is sorted. And the first half is sorted in ascending order. So it's go up. And uh, second half is sorted in uh, descending order. So maybe not second half, but after the peak. And uh, this property allow us to apply binary search to find the uh, peak efficiently. So let's look uh, at a possible uh, implementation. So we have a peak index uh, in mountain array uh, that takes uh, as input array and we start uh, by setting left and right pointers to the start and end of the array uh, respectively, like in binary uh, search. So let's implement it. So left, right, uh, zero and len ri minus one and y left less than right. Uh, middle will be left plus right divided by two without remainder. So middle and if ri middle less than ri me middle middle plus one then left will be middle plus one else we have right that is middle and we return finally left so as you can see it's look like binary search but not quite so let's run it and see if it's working so yeah, everything's work perfect. Okay, so uh, what we did. So we have two pointers, left and right. And next we enter a while loop that continue until left is not less than right. Uh, within this loop, we calculate the middle index, mid uh, of the current sub array. And here is the crucial part. We check if the element at mid is less than the element at mid plus one. And if it is, uh, is, this means that we are still in the ascending part of the array. And hence, the peak is somewhere to the right uh, of mid. So we update left to mid plus one. So we have left and right, yeah. And if the element uh, at mid is not less than the element at mid plus one, it means we have crossed the peak and we are now in the descending part of the array. Hence, the peak is somewhere to the left uh, of mid, so we update right to mid. And this process continue uh, reducing the search space by half uh, in each iteration until uh, left is not less than right. And at this point, uh, left will be pointing to the peak of the our mountain array, and that's what we return. And that's it. Uh, with this binary search approach, we have managed to solve this problem in O log n time complexity. So now let's run uh, our code for unseen test cases to see how it's working. So I'm running it and hopefully we will. Yeah. So we have passed 57 uh, daily challenges. So yeah. And our implementation is quite good. Uh, it beat 60% with respect to runtime 
and 32 with respect to memory. And this was our first run. So uh, great, our solution passed all the uh, test cases. So uh, that's job well done. So I hope this video helped you understand how to apply binary search in a slightly unconventional way. And remember, binary search is a powerful technique that can help you solve a wide range of problems. So keep practicing. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more coding problem solution and tutorials. And uh, if you got a, a question or thoughts, leave them in the comment section below. And I would love to hear from you. And as always, keep coding, uh, keep practicing, stay motivated, happy coding, and see you next time.